What's up, my fellow geekers? Uh, this is Jacob coming at you from the Geek Talk Society. I hope you've had an awesome day or evening, wherever in the world you may be. Um, we've got a big, big update coming. Uh, community transmission uh, has come straight from Ben Walk on Twitter, as I'm sure most of you will probably have heard. Uh, the link he shared, so basically it says, Coming with the new game mode are two brand new reinforcements. On the Republic side, you'll now be able to play as an advanced recon commando, known better as an ARC trooper. And on the Separatist side, you'll be able to play as a BX series droid commando. Um, so basically, those units, you know, they're both ever present within the Clone Wars. Both units will be part of the new Infiltrator Reinforcement class and will also have their own new star cards for their abilities. I'm going to talk more about this Infiltrator class shortly. The Arc Trooper is a gung-ho attacker that rushes into battle wielding his trusty DC-17 pistols. Yes, you read that correctly. Pistols. The unit can dual-wield pistols and fire them independently, effectively doubling his rate of fire. I'm just going to say maybe we get Captain Rex, possibly? You know? With short-range blasters, this trooper needs something more versatile for, for more distant foes. To extend his reach, the Arc Trooper's Power Blast ability overcharges his primary pistol to fire a powerful blast, giving his otherwise short-to-medium-ranged arsenal a ranged attack it can also be useful against vehicles. Aim your shot well, and it might just do well against an enemy villain too. And obviously, for the better players who use the basic infantry classes, like myself, who can kill heroes, it's just going to make killing heroes and villains all the more fun. So just letting you hero and villain spammers out there know that people like me exist that will hunt you down on the map and kill you first. Or we'll, won't stop. we won't stop until you're dead. For additional battle awareness, the Ark uh, can activate his helmet scanner, which lowers his rangefinder. This emits continuous scan pulses to reveal enemies, even through walls. Nice. The time between pulses is longer than how long enemies will be revealed by each pulse, so you'll need to stick to general battle awareness not to lose track of your foes. Finally, when encountering a powerful enemy, the Ark Trooper can even the odds with his shock trap. It's a throwable device, manually detonated. Oh, okay, so it's basically like a droid popper. Um, for those who watch the Clone Wars, droid poppers are basically just this. You know, you throw the grenade, it emits an electric charge. Um, so yeah, an electrical current that knocks down any enemies within its range. This is useful for both flanking larger groups of enemies and for tipping the scale in the favor of you and your allies, including if you need a full retreat. Overall, the Arc Trooper makes an excellent addition to the Clone, RP Clone Army. It is a very strategic unit and has the best results when played in such a way to flank your enemies and support your troops with the best results. Okay, okay, I like the sound of it. Now, this is where I throw in this this bad boy. The BX droid is arguably one of the most lethal units in the Separatist army. Yep, watch the uh, Season 1 Clone Wars Episode 5 Rookies. Trust me, these guys are lethal. Armed with a modified E5 blaster rifle commonly used by B1 battle droids, the BX trades rate of fire for higher precision and long-range encounters. Yep. With the modified blaster covering the BX at longer ranges, it also wields a Vibra sword. Oh, to get to the uh, to get the edge, it needs to excel in close quarters combat using either the melee button or the sinister strikes ability. Both have the same function. The BX droid can unleash up to three sword strikes in a row before requiring a brief cooldown. While the strikes don't deal much more damage than a regular trooper's melee, they are significantly faster, and the final strike is so powerful it will knock an enemy to the ground. The BX can also deploy a smoke screen by throwing a smoke bomb at its feet. The surrounding area will be filled with very dense smoke that even removes basic UI elements like name tags and outlines so the enemy view is blocked. Hmm, not bad. Tactical. I suppose they are the infiltrators. <laughs> Additionally, you can pair the smoke screen with its final ability, thermal vision for a devastating result. It makes the BX's glow, eyes glow red and it allows to see where enemies are located scary, including through walls and other obstructions. This ability also scrambles enemy scanners to further confuse and disorient them. This set of abilities combined with a higher than normal sprint speed makes the BX a lethal opponent, both before you see it and if you don't take it out before it closes the distance. I gotta say, um, I'm gonna scroll down and read more, but I just want to make, make this very, very clear. I want to throw this out there. Um, with these infiltrator classes added, and they're dual wielding multiple weapons, so vibra swords, blasters, um, 
I'm just going to shout out a few possible mentions that we could get. So Ben Walk, Dennis Branville, um, any other Battlefront 2 players out there, make sure they see this because I think you'd agree with me. First order, first order we need the Riot Trooper. If, if we're going to have an Infiltrator, like the Commando Droid here with the Vibra Sword, give him the melee weapon that, that, that Finn uses on Phasma and the Riot Trooper, you know, goes, Traitor! And that kind of stuff. Um, just to beef up the, 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 you know, the other eras of it. Because my only concern with all this Clone Wars era content is, as much as I love it personally, um, it's going to make other eras feel a bit lackluster, if you get what I mean. Like, you're only going to be excited to play as Clone Wars because you've got more option. Whereas, it, oh, you're like, oh, Rebels. You know, give us sand troopers, give us beach troopers. You know, th there's so much customization that can go here. And if we're going to have arc troopers who dual wield, please, please, can we just get Captain Rex as a playable hero, as a skin, something? Please, I'm begging you, EA. Captain Rex, please. Literally the best clone. Okay, let's scroll down. Uh, it's basically just like star cards, but, you, you know, you'll, you'll see them as they all come out. They're all... Uh, a fair range, um, and the bottom says these two new reinforcements will deploy deploy alongside the new game mode this month. The next community, the next community transmission will detail the mode fully, including what it's called, Galactic Conquest, <coughs> Galactic Conquest, and what it's called, and what your objectives will be in it. Capture the command post. <coughs> Capture the command post. <coughs> the update is slated for release on the twenty sixth of March. Additionally, the Infiltrator class is available without any credit cost for all players. Charlemagne signing off. Thank you, guys. You know what? If you'd have told me a year ago that we'd be seeing fucking commando droids in this game, I'd have laughed in your face. But we're getting them, and I could not be fucking happier. Um, as I said, I really want some more content for other eras. So I know everyone's going on about heroes and villains and whatnot, but I think the heroes and villains, there's plenty of heroes and villains for now. Um, we know Ahsoka and Ventress have been touted. We know Padme has been data mined um, in the game. Uh, you know, we know all these potential people are coming. Um, so my suggestion is to save them for a bit later on. And for now, just keep working on making, like, putting fine tweaks in the game. Like adding more skins, more varieties, more classes, more weapons. Because um, that's the one thing that this Battlefront pales in comparison to the other one. Um, not the OG ones, like, you know, the first one that came out in 2015. The amount of weapons on offer in that game far outweighs this one. So I'm hoping that they can really, you know, start implementing some more kind of weapons and guns. Um, and also work on more units. So now we've got more units for the Clone Wars. You know, work on an infiltrator class for the Rebels, Resistance, First Order, Empire. Now, for the First Order, as I've said, Riot Trooper. Riot Trooper. Infiltrator class, there you go. I've solved your problem. Easy. Riot Trooper. The Empire? I'm really not too sure about that one, you know. Um, <laughs> that's actually quite a hard one. I think what you could do, though, what you could do is you could... You know, like, how in the Death Star they had them officers? You, you could use them... Or you could use, uh, oh, you could use Beats Troopers, like, well, not Beats Troopers, if you played the Lego games, you know, uh, you could use Sand, like, Sand Troopers, um, for Rebels, you could use Both and Spies, oh, nah, okay, you're right, for Rebels, we need Both and Spies, that is a must, for Resistance, you could have... You could have DJ. Screw it. Why not? Let's have a, a, a load of DJs running around the battlefront, you know, hacking everything. He's an infiltrator of sorts. But yeah, you know, guys and girls, put your comments down below of what you think we could see for the infiltrator class in future. The only disappointment I have is I was really hoping, because we've got a similar look to the ARC troopers for the officers, I was really hoping we were going to get Republic Commandos. Now, if you don't know what Republic Commandos are, then me and you, we can't talk. Um, Republic Commandos are just the baddest clone trooper. Like, they're, they're just so cool. Like, if you played the original game, you you know. You know what I'm talking about. And, again, thank you to Dave Filoni for at least getting them a cameo in the Clone Wars. But, to be honest, I would have liked to have seen more of them. Um, but, we, you know, we, we at least follow Gregor's story a bit. Um, 
but yeah, you know, can't have everything. Um, but, you know, there's still hope to have the commandos in future. But for now, let's celebrate that we've got the ARC troopers coming. We've got the commando droids. You know, good times await. Um, I'm excited to see what else they'll be adding. You see, this is it. Now there's more variety in heroes and villains. I think characters need to be not a priority right now and just tweak up the game. Put more ships, more playable um, classes, more weapons, more abilities. Um, change the, the upgrade system a little bit. Um, this new game mode, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what it's all going to entail. Um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with that. And um, yeah, you know, it's it's this game's come a long way and it's going to be really immersive. Now, there'll still be people who compare it to the OG Battlefront 2. Now, you can call it nostalgia, and I'm just going to say this right now. It's never going to be better than the original Battlefront 2, and it never will. I'm just saying it. It's, I'm saying what we're all feeling and thinking. It will never be like it. But treat it like this. Compare it to where it started from. Don't compare it to the game that was 20 years ago that we all love. Compare it to the game that it started with itself. And trust me, that microtransaction gambling slot machine filled corrupt game is now a very good game as i said um yesterday or day before you can pick it up on the playstation store for over little over nine like under nine pounds over eight quid that is a fucking steal i paid 70 pounds for this game and now i'm getting all this if you pay nine pounds for this trust me it's well worth the fucking money nine pounds is loose change come on you can surely scrounge that up and treat yourself to some good Star Wars. And also, I want to give a quick shout out to the um, guy who made the pod racing game. Disney, EA, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, whoever. Please listen. Please, 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 please. We need a pod racing game. I cannot stress this enough. We need a pod racing game. Nothing is like it. There is no racing game on these game consoles that can satisfy my need for a pod racer and yes i want it so i can sit there and go now this is pod racing but i have one small one small request if you make a pod racing game a reality do not do not flood it with microtransactions and treat it like need for speed where it's like oh you can get a star card for plus two boost fuck off give the pod racers let people upgrade them like they used to and let it be an immersive fun game Please make it happen. But back to Battlefront 2. Um, yeah, guys and girls, leave your comments down below. That's pretty much it. Just me reading the community transmission and giving you my thoughts. Um, what did you guys think of this community transmission? You know, I'm glad that we're always getting constant updates and whatever else. You know, that games back in the day, you know, you buy it, that's it. <laughs> There's nothing else. So this is good. Um, you know, what's been your favorite moment of the game so far? What do you think we'll see in future? But yeah, um, EA, make Ben Walk, whoever, make that first order riot trooper like a possible, like a, an actual reality. Because I swear to God, I will be living on the first order forever if you add that guy in. I'm just saying, if you've got commando joys with vibra swords, you can probably fit him in some way. Okay, again, uh, guys and girls, leave comments down below, please. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you didn't like it, then please like, comment, subscribe and share, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching the video, boys and girls. If you like this video, please be sure to give the video a massive thumbs up, share it on all your socials, and leave a comment down below, as this is just the start of the discussion. And make sure you check out our SoundCloud page to have us with you on the go, wherever you may be. And don't forget to check us out over at Teespring to supply yourself with the best Geeker merchandise and take your first step into a larger fandom. And I. We'll talk to you soon.